uh, by popular demand, I have decided to resurrect my very famous, well, to my community at least, uh, live Q&A platform. This time I am going to go live on YouTube and I'm going to stream it for everybody. This has been a really intense year for, I think, everybody in their own way. And um, I did that Q&A for years in my private community, and I felt like it was really, really beneficial for um, people who were, you know, wanting to kind of connect the dots, get confirmation, tie up loose ends, um, you know, just kind of get that broader understanding. So the way that I channel is a little bit different than, say, your, your um, I guess normal is not the word, but your, you know, channel out there that's channeling aliens or, you know, um, angels or, you know, cards or astrology. Uh, my ability to channel is literally from that quantum field of possibilities. So we're usually pulling from about five different probabilities when we look into the future aspects of things. We can look in the past and see how the assumption of the collective brain, you could say, is going to fortify and reproduce certain events that have been in a loop. All right. So when we're, we're channeling, when I'm channeling the field of possibilities, it's basically the quantum field. And the quantum field acts exactly like a Google for the cosmos. And within three, four seconds, you will be able to get an answer uh, from the Google stream that I have access to. And um, it's a blessing and a curse, trust me. But I love doing it. And I love doing it because it's a quantum perspective. And quantum to me means all, all inclusive, which means we're not leaving anything out. And as a proclaimed alchemist, I define that word as alchemy or all of me. And so we really need to take in consideration all of you when we are tying up loose ends and answering questions and putting things together, because we are at a very significant time of your evolutionary phase of this ascension. Yes, we are all waking up and waking up and waking up and waking up. It's like we wake up and we're like, wow, we're awake, but you're not awake. And then we wake up and we're like, wow, I'm awake and that's scary. And then I'm awake and wait a second, you know, I'm still in judgment. I'm still waking up. So you're going to continue to wake up all four of your levels of consciousness. And we are hitting the threshold of the unconscious. You know, basically that's that, that kind of low, low vibrational unconscious part of our our personal field, our personal um, karmic signature right now in 2022. I have referred to it as the catch 22 or the rude awakening, as I'm sure you guys can understand. I have yet to meet one person who is physically focused in some sort of collective. I'm not talking about being on a mountaintop as a Buddha, a, you know, guru who doesn't have any triggers, but people who pay bills and, you know, deal with trash and laundry and and, you know, relationships are, are probably very much waking up this year to the fact that there are unconscious loops, patterns, genetic uh, disposition, their, you know, DNA, their children, their reflections, their projections, their traumas are looping. And the good and the bad about it is, is that the more aware we are, the more aware we can see ourselves. And that's really what it's about. So this Q&A is going to basically be in the form of helping you biohack different aspects of your life. So being able to biohack your time, your money, your health, your relationships, because ultimately you are here to create your universe, to be the center of your universe. Your purpose is you. All right. It isn't saving the world. I think you're realizing that. I think that how you save the world is by being the example of of someone who's worth saving the world for and also inspiring and, you know, living and thriving and being an example of that instead of suffering and, you know, rescuing and bleeding hard and no boundaries. You know, I think that phase has slapped us all big time this year. And we're ready for a big, healthy dose of 
biohacking. Hit the easy button. I need to get one of those and, and really kind of fine tune. I, I love hearing this analogy so much. My son likes to play certain games, but he goes to YouTube to find a cheat code so that he can biohack the game that he paid money for so he can win the game. And I'm thinking, well, what's the point? And he goes to win the game. And so I thought, well, I'm a biohacker. And so that's exactly right. So I'm going to pull the, the hacks, the shortcuts, the blind sides, the um, blind spots that might be in your field of possibilities and your collective matrix field of survival and master and slave and let you know personally, based on what you're ready to hear in your question, you can, you can actually put how personal you want me to get and you want me to put you on blast. I will. If you want me to stay very general to a question that you believe other people are going to ask, I can do that too. Nothing is off limits because ultimately there is nothing in your life that really deserves any more judgment than moving it into alignment of a heart's desire or a no thank you. Nothing else really needs to be judged rather than what it is that you are trying to accomplish. Whenever anybody comes to the biohacking center to go through the methodical deprogramming of the collective matrix, it's basically like, what do I do there all day? I pull the plug out of the Neo and act as Morpheus. And it's, it's, a, it's a pretty intense process. So we get to kind of do that a little bit in a Q&A form uh, live on YouTube. We're going to start doing it around two o'clock uh, central time on Thursdays. And that will hit until the kiddos, mine, got four of them, go back to school. Then I'll do it one hour earlier. It'll be one o'clock central time Thursday. That lets me still be a mom, pick up my babies and still be the quantum channel. All right. I will act as the oracle. But instead of saying there's no spoon, I'll get a little bit more specific with you and, and give you the cheat code and the shortcut. Everyone has the possibility and the potential to channel anything and everything. You have to understand something that you don't need someone like me or anybody out there to be a middleman or a broker for the information that you have within you. But big old booty, you need to have that program that says you cannot hear, you cannot see, that you cannot know, that you're not allowed, that program needs to be removed. So you have a bunch of programs that basically have taught you through life experience, practice, observation, resistance, what you are allowed and not allowed to be, have, and do. And I say that's the rudeness of the awakening, is realizing that you are here to be a sovereign being. You are here to decide what that looks like. You are here to create your own reality. You are here to be a code writer, not an actor. You are not here to bump up against a pre, you know, created program that doesn't allow you to be who you know you are. This is what starts to short circuit our brain and our brain begins to loop. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed. No. No, 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 no. And then we become the no. We become the ones who sabotage the opportunities that do come in. We become the no to love. We become, even though we seem like we're chasing it, there is a barrier. And biohacking to me is what we have all earned, right? It's, it's not me being woo-woo. It's very, very scientific how we do this. And it takes quite a bit of time depending on how many seven-year cycles you have under your belt, right? So the more seven year cycles you have, the more your brain has been zip driving every seven years, who it believes you are, which means who have you been demonstrating yourself to be? That is what has told your cells. Therefore, they whispered and gossiped behind your back to the muscles and the muscles are now reacting in your benefit. They're reacting to who they think they are, you. And that's why you feel so triggered when people don't hear you, see you, accept you, make you feel safe, adored, treat you like a royal goddess and, and king, because that's who you are inside. But again, this has been programmed by the power of influence and the limitations that you perceive in your circumstances, even though you may identify them as not true, the body believes that it's all real. You know it's a dream, right?
And so what is it that we can do to kind of speed up this process? All right, we get it now. We have moved past the, the field of fighting against the current and we are going with the flow. We are becoming the waves. We are flowing like water, like Bruce Lee says. All right, in my new pajamas that represent, okay? It's an all day pajama day here at my house. We have a tiny bit of rain and that's a perfect excuse when it's 112 degrees in the summertime. So I hope that you guys can all join me in this fun q and I'll try to keep it to an hour. Um, that usually it, it can be anywhere between three and five questions. I will be taking them probably a few days earlier from the comment section. Now I will tell you that I'm doing this for free and as a solid and just to say, I hear you and I see you and you're safe and I love you. But if you get salty and start putting inappropriate things on my comments, then I will have to have boundaries with you. Now, if it's funny, I might keep it. But if it's insulting or it's something about what's up with her eyebrows, you know, just don't take a, don't kick a gift horse in the mouth and just take the information for what it is that you could utilize to hack in and maybe take some shortcuts in your personal life that might help you big time. All right. So let's all be nice and let's get this moving on in the forward direction so you guys can start getting some confirmation, some clarification, and maybe some moves in the right direction to slow down that fast aging process and speed up the miracles that are literally being held by the brakes in your brain and then the rest of your system. Okay, so let's get this moving. I also, just so you know, will be doing giveaways like crazy. We have a ton of stuff to give away right now. You know, I have been teaching for, I don't know, 2014 is when we opened up our online virtual school. So there is probably 30,000 to 40,000 hours of curriculum, workshops, secrets, biohacks, life hacks, parenting hacks, relationship hacks, all these kind of things is sitting in there just ready to be plucked. Not to mention that we have retreats coming up. We have biohacking studios now. We have a new relationship, the alchemy of relationship course coming out. This is going to be a fun workshop. We've got psychic surgery training. We've got channeling. We've got quantum house clearing. You name it, we have it. So I would like to give it away. When there's an ebb and flow in your life, right? And you're feeling kind of the lack energy start to come in. This is where you give it away. It's not devaluing you. It's not saying you're not good enough to charge for what you're doing. It just means that I have too much abundance and I'm ready to kind of move that energy out and open up what's coming in 2023. Because 2023, the master number three in there is going to be about foundations. It's going to be about creating your new foundation of your new world as the farmer and as the seed in bloom and as the observer to build your new world, not reality, new world. This reality, mm -mm. you are going to build a new one and become the co-writer of your own game, which means you go from Neo to Morpheus to the Oracle and you follow the white rabbit based on what is happening. Your reality is your biofeedback. It is your feedback mechanism to show you where your personal vibration and frequency is in alignment or needs some tweaking. Nothing is ever unfair. No one else has a privilege over you and no one is getting there faster in their personal, uh, their personal passions and purpose, even if it appears they are, okay? Some people might not be in the way as much as you feel you are, or maybe you feel you're not. But if you're working harder than you're playing, that's not really alignment. That's not how we create. If you are talking, talking, talking and not being heard, that's not alignment. All right. So keep in mind, the harder you try in physical reality, the more stuff you get because it triggers your body hormones and your hormones really are what accelerates aging, accelerates illness. And when that nervous system becomes degenerated, you start to get glitchy and twitchy and not in the break the matrix type of way, but in the anxiety and social meter battery dying down halfway through your day. All right, so let's get on purpose. Let's be intentional. Let's be 
grateful. Let's show up. Let's ask questions. Let's listen for the answers that resonate. And let's play in the quantum field of possibilities. Thursdays at 2 p.m. until school starts and 1 p.m. Central Time after that. See you soon.